seamless steel pipes, used wherever energy sources are developed and utilized. Where pipelines are required to transport oil, gas, or water. Where boiler tubes must withstand extreme temperature and pressure loads. And where square or rectangular hollow sections support entire halls and buildings. They serve in applications such as mine props and hydraulic cylinders, in moving large masses, and in the manufacture of steel cylinders and containers. Everywhere, high-quality steel pipes are essential. In the Krupp Monosmon Steelworks, crude steel is melted down to serve as the raw material for various pipe manufacturing processes. After being poured from the converter and alloying elements added, the molten steel enters the continuous casting plant. In up to six strands, round billets of various diameters are continuously cast and cut to length. Delivery of billets to the tube mill facility is carried out with each piece labeled for identification, indicating the heat number, material grade, and weight. The starting material, available in diameters of 220, 270, and 310 millimeters and in the ordered lengths, is stored in the billet yard, where it is sorted by material grade and heat number. For small batch quantities, the billets are cut to the required individual lengths using a carbide-tipped saw and labeled again for identification. The centered billets, with a maximum length of 4.7 meters and a maximum unit weight of 2.8 tons, are transported to the preheating furnace. In the natural gas-fired walking beam furnace, the billets are preheated to a temperature of approximately 700 degrees Celsius. Transport to the rotary hearth furnace The billets are continuously heated to a rolling temperature of approximately 1,280 degrees Celsius in a slowly rotating hearth furnace with a diameter of 20 meters. A process computer control guarantees optimal heating. After more than an hour, the billets exit the rotary hearth furnace at 30 second intervals. That equals a throughput of 120 billets per hour. The hot billet is transported to the rolling mill by conveyor. In the skew rolling mill, the solid billet is gripped by two rotating conical rolls and rolled over a piercing mandrel, which serves as the internal forming tool to produce a hollow shell in a helical manner. This process increases the billet's length by a factor of five. After rolling, the mandrel bar is withdrawn and the piercing mandrel is automatically changed. The next piercing mandrel is positioned in the roll gap and a new piercing process begins. Using a cross-transfer carriage, the billets are moved onward to the plug mill. The hollow shell, together with an internal tool called the plug, is fed into the too high rolling stand. As the material passes through the annular gap between the work rolls and the plug, the wall thickness of the hollow shell is significantly reduced. Each hollow shell passes through the too high stand twice with the plug being changed before the second pass. A simple simulation illustrates the process. The tube is rolled, the work rolls are opened, and the tube is returned to the entry side. During the second pass, a larger plug is used to further reduce the wall thickness. The entire production and information flow is monitored from a central control station. Here, the setpins and measurement data from the entire rolling mill are visualized and recorded. The process path from the solid billet to the finished tube can be accurately tracked, allowing each production order to be clearly distinguished and linked to its specific steel heat cycle. This guarantees that every finished tube can be traced back to its exact batch of molten steel and corresponding production data. The next step in the process is to ensure dimensional accuracy. 
In a helical pass, the inner and outer surfaces are smoothed between the rolls and the internal tool. A walking beam furnace compensates for the temperature lost by reheating the tube to approximately 900 degrees Celsius. After descaling, the tube is formed in the sizing mill, which consists of 10 stands. Through gradual reduction from stand to stand, each tube achieves the specified final diameter. In addition to producing round tubes in various dimensions between 193 and 406 mm, replacing the two end stands in the sizing mill also makes it possible to manufacture square profiles ranging from 150 by 150 mm to 300 by 300 mm, as well as rectangular cross sections of up to 300 by 100 mm. Following cooling on the cooling bed, the tubes pass through a water bath. The roller straightening machine ensures that the pipes, which can be up to 15 meters in length, meet the required specifications for straightness and roundness. First visual inspection. Then comes a non-destructive end inspection, which automatically determines the length of the end cut. The pipe ends are then removed using the rotary milling machine. In the multi-test unit, as the tubes pass through, they are inspected for both longitudinal and transverse defects on the outer and inner surfaces using the magnetic flux leakage method. Finally, the wall thickness is measured by ultrasonic testing. Computerized systems control and monitor the entire inspection process. The quality-relevant results are displayed on monitors and recorded for documentation. Marking of the pipes And a second visual inspection during final quality control. Measuring, weighing, and a spectrographic analysis for material verification complete the manufacturing process. Subsequent processing may follow, such as heat treatment of the pipes to achieve specific strength and toughness properties. Or even threading on oil field pipes. The final product. Seamless steel pipes produced by the plug mill process, with diameters ranging from 193 to 406 mm and wall thicknesses from 6 to 41 mm. These are high-quality pipes, manufactured, tested, and monitored to comply with national and international standards as well as customer specifications. From crude steel to high-quality pipes, steel perfected to meet every global demand. If you find this video informative, please give it a like, share it with others, and subscribe to the Al Jazari channel for more in-depth insights into engineering and manufacturing processes.